Hello everyone, this is Alak Vaya and I am here with uh, uh, Quiz 10 Solutions uh, Trigonometry. So on your screen, this is the first question. Uh, we have find the value of cos square pi by 16 plus cos square 3 pi by 16 plus cos square 5 pi by 16 plus cos square 7 pi by 16. To answer this, we have to use the concept of complementary angles. So, so cos square pi by 16 plus cos square 3 pi by 16. What I'm going to use, when you look at the third term, we have cos square uh, 5 pi by 16. So I can write it as sine of sine square pi by 2 minus of pi by 16. And similarly, I'm writing down uh, the same thing for the last term, that is cos square 7 pi by 16. So this will become sine square pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 16, right. So the first term will be as it is cos square pi by 16. Then we have cos square 3 pi by 16. And when you evaluate the third term, what we have pi by 2 minus 5 pi by 16, take the LCM and simplify, you will get 3 pi by 16 as an angle. So we have sine square 3 pi by 16. And then similarly, when you uh, simplify this, you will get the angle as uh, pi by 16. So we have sine square pi by 16. Now add the first and uh, last, when you add the first and last, cos square pi by 16 plus sine square pi by 16, that will be 1. And cos square 3 pi by 16 plus sine square pi, uh, 3 pi by 16, that is also 1. So 1 plus 1 is uh, 2. So answer for the first question is 2. Move to the second question. In this question also, we have to do the same thing. We have to use uh, the identity that is tan of pi by 2 minus theta as uh, cot of theta. So keeping the uh, first two terms as it is, we have cot of pi by 20 into cot of 3 pi by 20. Now see, uh, cot 5 pi by 20 is uh, nothing but cot pi by 4. So I'm writing 1 here. And the cot 7 pi by 20 can also be written as tan of pi by 2 minus of 7 pi by 20. Same for this, cot 9 pi by 20 can also be written as tan of tan of pi by 2 minus of 9 pi by 20. Right. Evaluate this, uh, simplify the angle pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 20. When you take the LCM, you'll get tan of 3 pi by uh, 20. So we have cot of pi by 20, then cot of 3 pi by 20. Now this will uh, become tan of 3 pi by 20, tan of 3 pi by 20. And the last one will uh, become, when you take the LCM and simplify this, you will get tan of pi by 20, tan of pi by 20. Now you all know tan theta into cot theta is equal to 1. So uh, this when you multiply the first and fourth, you will get 1. And from second and third also, you will get 1. So 1 into 1 is 1. So answer for this question is also 1. So option C is correct for the second question. Uh, move to the third question. Right. So we have uh, which of the following is greatest? Option A, tan 1. Uh, so for this question, we have to simplify all the four options. Uh, then we will uh, reach to the solution. So the first option we have is tan of 1. Tan, so here, uh, 1 means uh, if nothing is written, that means we have to assume 1 as 1 radian. So tan of 1, I am keeping that as it is. Now we have a second option is tan of 4. So tan of 4 can be written as uh, tan of pi plus of 4 minus pi, right? So uh, why I have written... Uh, uh, tan 4 as tan of pi plus 4 minus pi because I'm going to use the identity tan of pi plus theta is equal to tan theta. So we have tan of pi plus. So you can consider this 4 minus pi is theta. So tan of pi plus 4 minus pi, it gives you tan of 4 minus pi, right? Now, uh, when you write down the approximate value of tan, uh, tan of 4 minus pi, pi is 3.14. So tan of 4 minus pi is going to be tan of 0 0.3.14 so that uh, that will be 0 0.86 yeah 14 
Now see, uh, in the same way, evaluate the other two options, option C and option D. So option C we have is tan of 7 degree, sorry, 7 radian. So tan 7 radian, you can write it as tan of uh, uh, 2 pi, tan of 2 pi plus 7 minus 2 pi. See, this 2 pi, 2 pi will get cancelled out and we're left with 7 only. And then what is the reason behind writing this? Uh, the reason is... Uh, because we know the identity tan of 2 pi plus theta is tan of uh, theta. So what we left with? We left with tan of, we left with tan of uh, 7 minus 2 pi. 7 minus 2 pi. Now 7 uh, pi is approximately 3.14. So 2 pi will be uh, 6.28. So 7 minus uh, 6.28, it comes out to be tan of, so 7 minus 6.28, it is going to be 0 0.72. Like, so in the same way, you, in the same way, you can, uh, uh, I'm just writing down for in the next space, I'm uh, so simplifying the third, op fourth option, tan of 10 uh, radian. So tan 10 radian can be written as tan of uh, 3 pi plus 10 minus 3 pi, right? So we have tan of 10 minus 3 pi, tan of 10 minus 3 pi, right? Now 3 pi is, uh, uh, pi is 3.14, so th uh, th 3 pi is going to be uh, uh, 9.42, so we have uh, 0 0.56, okay. Now we know that when you draw the graph, when you draw the graph of tan, when you draw the graph of tan, this is uh, pi by 2, uh, this is pi. So for tan, this is the asymptotes we have, asymptotes is a line uh, which is approached by our graph. Now the graph of tan will be something like this, right? This is the graph of uh, tan in, in the in the interval uh, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Now as you can see from, uh, so tan 1, uh, I mean the angle, this, let me erase it. So uh, pi by 2 is greater than 1, so 1 radian will be here somewhat. So as you can see, uh, from 0 to pi by 2, from 0 to pi by 2, uh, the value of tan increases when the angle increases. So the greatest, uh, the greatest is going to be tan of 1, right? Uh, because tan 4 is 0, tan of 0 0.86, tan uh, 7 is 0. Point, uh, tan of 0 0.72, tan 4 is 0 0.56. So the greatest among this four option, among the, uh, this four option is A, that is tan of 1. And now move to the fourth one. Uh, the number of uh, point of intersection of the two curve y is equal to 2 sin x and y is equal to 5x square plus 2x plus 3. Now to answer this question, what you have to do, we have to plot, uh, we have to plot the graph of 2 sin x and uh, 5x square plus 2x plus 3 on the same graph and we will find out how many intersections uh, the two graphs have. And so for that we need to draw the graph. So this is your x and this is your y. When you look at, uh, when you look at uh, the uh, quadratic 5x square plus 2x plus 3, when you figure out the discriminant, discriminant is going to be negative because uh, 4 minus uh, 60, b square minus 4ac. So discriminant is negative. So uh, this quadratic has no roots. This quadratic has no uh, real roots. It has roots, but roots are not real. Now when I try, uh, First, I'm going to plot the graph of y is equal to 2 sin x. So let's see. So this is uh, y is equal to 2 and this is y is equal to minus 2, right? This, uh, do some markings. This is your pi by 2, this is your pi. This is your 3 pi by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the graph of y equal to 2 sin x first. And then I will also draw the graph of 5x square plus 2x plus 3. And I will take how many intersections they have. So here we have minus of pi by 2. And then we have minus of pi. And then we have minus of 3 pi by 2. Now when you draw the graph of uh, uh, 2 sin x, the graph is going to be something like this. Right. And here we have like this. 
obviously uh, the graph will cut the uh, minus pi the pass through minus pi so this is the approximate graph of uh, y is equal to 2 sin x now here only i have to draw the graph of 5x square plus 2x plus 3 now to draw the graph of 5x square plus 2x plus 3 as uh, the discriminant is zero so we have uh, we don't have real roots so in that case we have to find out the uh, the the point of intersection uh, of the graph with the axis so graph got the axis at the point uh, 0 comma 3 so let's say here we have uh, 0 comma 3 and also we have to find out the vortex of uh, that quadratic parabola 5x square plus 2x plus 3 so when we find out the vortex uh, we have a formula for vortex the formula uh, vortex is going to be minus b by 2 and minus d by 4a so when you figure out the vortex let's figure out the vortex so minus b by 2a it comes out to be minus 1 by 5 so minus 1 by 5 will be somewhat here okay and when you substitute minus 1 by 5 the value of y that we are getting is let's calculate 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 that will minus 1 by 5 so minus 1 by 5 then we have plus so 14 by 5 we are getting uh, you can do the calculation so we are getting minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 upon plus 3 so minus 1 by 5 plus 3 is going to be 14 by 5 and the value is obviously this value when you look at uh, 14 by 5 the value of 14 by 5 is going to be greater than 2 so the graph of that quadratic 5x square plus 2x plus 3 is somewhat like this okay you can uh, just a second so graph of the graph of uh, 5x square plus 2x plus 3 is going to be like this i mean that will be above the uh, above y is equal to 2 so as you can see we have no point of intersection so answer is going to be a that is 0 i hope it's clear to all now move to the next question question number 5 number of integral values of k for which the equation 3 sin x plus 4 cos x is equal to k has a real solution now as you all know uh, the range of a sin x the range of a sin x plus b sin x or uh, b cos x the range of a sin x plus b cos x is okay so uh, it is going to be you all know that a square plus b square here minus greater than equal to less than equal to root over a square plus b square okay uh, here we don't have any restriction on x x can be anything so the range of a sin x plus b cos x is going to be uh, the minimum value is going to be minus of root over a square plus b square and the maximum value is going to be root over a square plus b square now uh, so when you apply uh, this this uh, range so uh, the range of 3 sin x so 3 sin x 3 sin x plus 4 cos x 4 cos x uh, belongs to belongs to uh, minus 5 to 5 okay belongs to minus 5 to 5 so if i want any solution if i want any solution the value of k uh, the value of k must lie in this in this set okay so the value of k must belongs to uh, from i mean this set that is minus 5 to 5 but in this question we have to find out the integral values of k so the possible integral values of k uh, are going to be minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 the total number of integral values is going to be 11 so for question of 5 the correct answer is 11 All right so we have the next question uh, if this is a question uh, from trigonometric equation if 2 sin x square x plus 5 sin x plus 2 is greater than equal to 0 and x belongs to closed interval 0 so 2 pi find the uh, solution set of x is so to answer this question first we need to simplify this so 2 sin s square x plus sin x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0 now uh, by using middle term splitting you can simply write 2 sin s square x plus 4 sin x plus sin x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0 now when you factorize this the factors are going to be uh, take 2 sin x so the factors are going to be 2 sin x when you take 2 sin x common uh, you left with sin x plus 2 I am directly writing uh, the solution here so the factors are going to be the factors are going to be 2 sin x the factors are going to be 2 sin x plus 1 
into sin x plus 2 greater than equal to 0. So these are the factors we have. As we, as we know the range of sin x is minus 1 to 1. So sin x plus 2 is always going to be positive. So I mean this sin x plus 2, the factor sin x plus 2 has no role in this inequality because this is always going to be positive. This sin x plus 2 is always going to be positive. Why this is always going to be positive? Because the range of sin x is minus 1 to 1. So when you add uh, 2 with the range minus 1 to 1, you are going to get uh, 1 to 3. So this, uh, this factor sin x plus 2 is always going to be positive. So what we left with? We only left with 2 sin x plus 1 greater than equal to 0. Equality is also there. So from here we have, uh, from here we have, uh, so from here we have 2 sin x plus 1 is greater than equal to 0. And we have to find out the solution in the interval 0 to so 2 pi. So let's see how we'll do. In the next space, I will show you. Uh, now, again, we have to draw a graph of uh, sin x. So this is our pi by 2. This is our pi. This is 3 pi by 2. And this is 2 pi. We have, uh, it is given that x belongs to 0 to 2 pi. So we need only uh, this interval 0 to 2 pi. No need to draw uh, the full graph. Now let's draw y is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus, uh, minus 1. I'm going to draw another line that is y is equal to minus half. y is equal to minus half. Now, when you draw the graph of, when you draw the graph of, uh, my inequality was sin x, my inequality was sin x is greater than minus half, greater than or equal to uh, minus half. So, so first we have to draw the graph of uh, sin x. The graph of sin x uh, in between 0 to 2 pi is going to be like this. So this is the graph of sin x. Now you have to check. So we have y is equal to minus half. Now you have to figure out. Uh, for what, uh, in, I mean, in what range the graph of sin x lies above the y is equal to minus half, okay. So the, uh, I'm going to tell you, so the portion of the graph that we are going to take, the portion of the graph that we are going to take is uh, this, okay. So this portion, this portion lies above, this portion lies above uh, the graph of y is equal to minus half and, and this portion also lies above uh, uh, the graph of y is equal to minus half, okay. Now this angle, this angle is going to be, now when we have sin x is equal to minus half uh, in the third quadrant, that angle is going to be pi plus pi by 6. So this angle is going to be uh, corresponding to this point of intersection. The angle is 7 pi by pi plus pi by 6, that is 7 pi by 6. And sin x is equal to minus half, sin x is equal to minus half, uh, in the fourth quadrant, the sin x is equal to minus half uh, for the angle 2 pi minus pi by 6. So this angle is going to be, this angle is going to be 11 pi by 6, right? So answer for this question is x belongs to, x belongs to uh, close intervals, close 0 uh, till 7 pi by 6 union. Then we have 11 pi by 6, 11 pi by 6 till 2 pi, okay? So this is the answer for this question. Let's see which option is correct. So option B is correct for this question. So for question number six, the right option is option number B. I hope you all understood. Move to the next question. The next question we have is uh, for, uh, the ratio of the list value, the ratio of the list value of two minus cos x plus sin x square x to its greatest value. So to answer this question, first we have to convert this expression in a single trigonometric ratio. Uh, now we have two trigonometric ratios, cos x and sin x square x. So we will start with 2 minus uh, cos x. Now I can't convert, I, although I, have, I can convert cos into sin, but uh, the expression will be complex. So I'm going to use the identity sin x square x plus cos x square x is equal to 1. So at the place of sin x square x, I can simply write 1 minus cos x square x. Sim simplifying it further, when you simplify it further, we have minus cos square x minus cos x plus 3, right? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a perfect square in cos, then only we are able to figure out the 
the list and uh, the greatest value. I have taken minus common, so we have cos x plus co cos square x plus cos x minus 3, minus 3. Uh, minus 3 we have now you can easily make a perfect square so the perfect square is going to be cos of x so here we have plus so cos of x plus half whole square cos of x plus half whole square I have to generate minus 3 also so from here I will get 1 by 4 so what I will add to get minus 3 by 4 so to I have to add minus 13 by 4 what I have to add minus 13 by 4 because from here, when you expand this, I will get cos square x plus 1 by 4 plus cos x. So 1 by 4 and minus 13 by 4, it is uh, going to be minus 12 by 4 and it minus 12 by 4 is minus 3. Now further, what I will do, <coughs> so bring that minus again. So finally, we have uh, 13 by 4 minus of 13 by 4 minus of cos of x plus half whole square cos of x as you can uh, just see the expression when you bring that minus sign the minus 13 by 4 will become plus 13 by 4 and cos x plus half whole square will become minus of cos x plus half whole square now to get the uh, the greatest value i'm um, to to get the maximum value to get the maximum value what we have to do this expression has to be zero so greatest value is going to be greatest value is going to be 13 by 4 and let's talk about the list so how we will get how we will get the greatest value to get the greatest value this expression has to be 0 and when this expression 0 when cos x is equal to minus half so this expression can be 0 uh, when the value of cos x is equal to minus half that is possible now to get the next value to get the next value this expression has to be maximum because 13 by 4 is a constant so when we subtract maximum value from 13 by 4 we'll get the next value now the maximum value of uh, cos x plus half is going to be when uh, the, the maximum value of this expression is going to be uh, 1 plus 1 by 2 whole square when cos x is equal to 1 so that will be 3 by 2 whole square so that is going to be 3 by 1 plus 1 by 2 so 3 by 2 whole square uh, so it is going to be 9 by 4 so 13 by 4 minus 9 by 4 so the list value is going to be 1 the list value as you can easily see the calculation I have done what we have to find out the ratio of the list value uh, to is uh, greatest value so list value is 1 so ratio is going to be ratio is going to be 1 upon 13 by 4 so it comes out to be 4 by 13 so for this question the correct option is uh, A so I've explained the first seven question now move to the eighth question uh, okay, so in question number 8, what uh, we have is, consider the equation, I think uh, here it has to be theta. So consider the equation for uh, theta greater than equal to 0, less than equal to 2 pi, sin 2 theta plus root 3, cos 2 theta whole square minus 5 is equal to this. So uh, some of you, uh, some of you may start uh, solving this question by expanding this, but uh, you can get the answer in that way also, but that will be a, a lengthy way to answer it. So let's see how, how I'm uh, uh, start, how I'm starting with this problem. So we have sine of 2 theta in the left hand side, we have sine of 2 theta plus root 3 cos 2 theta whole square minus 5 is equal to cos of pi by 6 minus of 2 theta. So this expression, this is the expression we have. What I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply and divide the, uh, the expression inside the bracket with 2. So when I will do this, I will get 2 into, I will get 2 into sine 2 theta upon 2 plus root 3 by 2 cos 2 theta and uh, whole square minus 5. Now as you can see, so we know identity that cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta so I can write cos pi by 6 minus 2 theta as cos of 2 theta minus of pi by 6 I hope till here uh, clear to all uh, 
I'm repeating again. I view the identity here. Cos of minus theta is uh, cos theta. So that cos pi by six minus two theta will become cos of two theta minus pi by six, right? And when you look at this, when you look at this expression, when you look at this expression, so this is nothing but cos of two theta minus pi by six uh, uh, minus pi by six. So uh, when you, uh, I mean, here it is written a uh, cos of a minus b identity. So this is nothing but cos of two theta, cos of two theta. Minus pi by six. So finally, we have when you expand this, you will get two is two square will be four. So we have four into cos square two theta minus pi by six minus five is equal to cos of two theta minus of pi by six. Now this is a quadratic. This is a quadratic in cos uh, uh, cos two theta minus pi by six. So as you can see, this is a quadratic in cos two theta minus pi by six. So we have to solve this quadratic. So let's solve it. So we have, uh, let, you can take uh, cos two theta minus pi by six as t. So we have four t square uh, minus t minus five is equal to zero, right? I am showing you again. When you bring this in the left hand side, so that will be uh, what what I have done is I have taken this cos two theta minus pi by six as t. So this will become four t square minus t minus five is equal to zero. Now when you fa factorize it further, what we have. We'll get t is equal to five by four. You'll get t is equal to five by four, and the other value of t is uh, when I look at yeah. So other values of t is minus one. So these are the values of t we have. Now what is my t? My t is nothing but my t is nothing but cos of two theta minus of pi by six. So cos of two theta is equal to uh, cos of two theta minus pi by six is equal to pi by four, or Cos of two theta minus of pi by six is equal to minus one. I hope it's clear to all. Uh, from here, we'll not get any solution. From here, uh, uh, we'll not get any solution, right? So from here, we have no solution. Uh, the reason is the range of cos is minus one to one. The range of cos is minus one to one, and here we have in the right hand side we have five by four. So the range of left hand side is minus one to one, and in the right hand side we have five by four. So it is not possible that uh, the left hand side is minus one to one and the right hand side is five by four. So from this equation, we'll not get any solution. We'll not get any solution. So we have to solve this part. We have to solve this part to get the solution. Now to solve this part, uh, we have to use that uh, given information that theta is a uh, line between theta is theta belongs to close interval 0 to 2 pi so as theta belongs to close interval 0 to 2 pi so from here 2 theta belongs to 0 to 4 pi okay now 2 theta minus pi by 6 so 2 theta minus pi by 6 belongs to minus pi by 6 comma 4 pi minus uh, pi by 6 that is 23 pi by 6 right so in between uh, minus pi by six to twenty three pi by six, you have to check when cos has minus a uh, negative value that is minus one when cos gives minus one. So in minus pi by six, so you can take uh, I mean this angle belongs to minus pi by six to twenty three pi by six. So in this in this uh, interval in this set, when cos gives you minus one. So cos gives you minus one. So as you can see, the when uh, the angle is pi, so therefore two theta minus pi by six is equal to pi. Then we have uh, if this angle is pi, then we have minus one, and pi is lying in this also. Pi belongs to this interval, and uh, at three pi also, and at three pi also, uh, three pi is also th th three pi also belongs to this interval. So I can uh, write theta minus pi by six is equal to three pi. So when you simplify this, you will get theta is equal to, let's solve it. So 19 by what I'll get, uh, three pi plus pi by six, that will be 19 pi by six. Uh, so when you bring that two in the right hand side, so that will be 19 pi by 12, right? So this is one of the answer. From here, when you solve it, you will get seven pi by six. Uh, th 2 theta is equal to 7 pi by 6 so theta is equal to 7 pi by 12 now let's see uh, what has been asked so if the greatest value uh, is of theta if the greatest value of theta is k pi by p 
uh, where P and uh, K are co-prime. So co-prime numbers are numbers whose SCF is 1. Then find the value of K plus P. Now, so greatest among uh, this 2, greatest among this 2 uh, is 19 pi by 12. And as you can see, 19 and 12 uh, are prime numbers. Sorry, co-prime numbers, not prime. 12 is not co-prime number. 19 is prime. So co-prime, co-prime is SCF is 1. Uh, if the SCF of two numbers is 1, they are said to be co-prime. So 19 and 12 uh, co-prime to each other. We have to find out the value of K plus P. So when you add 19 plus 12, it comes out to be 31. So answer for this question is 31. Again, the option A is correct. Let's switch to the next. The possible value of, uh, again do a correction, it has to be theta. The possible value of theta belongs to 0 to pi, so that sine theta plus uh, sine 4 theta plus sine 7 theta is equal to 0. Now in this question, uh, this is also uh, uh, belongs to the chapter trigonometric equation. Now in this question, what we have to do, we have to first simplify, I mean add the uh, first and the last term by using the identity sine c plus sine d. So sine theta plus sine 7 theta is, uh, so sine c plus sine d is 2 sine c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. So when you use that identity uh, sine c plus sine d, it comes out to be 2 sine 4 theta cos of 3 theta and from here we have uh, sine of 4 theta is equal to 0 is equal to 0 right I hope it's clear to all okay now as you can see uh, in the first term we have 2 sine 4 theta 2 sine 4 theta then cos 3 theta plus sine 4 theta is equal to 0 so sine 4 theta can be taken outside sine 4 theta can be taken outside and we're left with 2 cos 3 theta plus 1 is equal to 0 right <coughs> uh, so here in the left hand side we have product of two expressions uh, and that is 0. So either sin 4 theta is equal to 0 or 2 cos 3 theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So, so uh, solving this two, so sin of 4 theta is equal to 0. We have to use the general solution. Uh, if sin theta is equal to uh, 0 then theta belongs to n pi. Theta is equal to n pi. So from here I will write 4 theta is equal to n pi. That implies theta is equal to n pi by 4. Theta is equal to n pi by 4. Let's uh, now 2 cos 3 theta. Let me check again. Yeah. 2 cos 3 theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So 2 cos 3 theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So when you simplify this, you will get cos of 3 theta is equal to minus half. Right. So again, cos 3 theta. So we have to write down uh, the right hand side in, in terms of cos. So you can use any principal angle. So when we have cos. Uh, uh, cos as the value of cos is minus half so you can use this uh, angle in the second quadrant in the second quadrant we have uh, cos 2 pi by 3 is equal to minus half so in the right hand side at the place of minus half I can write cos of 2 pi by 3 because here I am going to use the identity a general solution for cos theta equal to cos alpha so alpha is 2 pi by 3 so right here, so 3 theta is equal to 2 n pi plus minus 2 pi by 3, right? Plus minus 2 pi by 3. Now bring that uh, theta. So here we have one solution, general solution. And from here theta is going to be 2 n pi by 3 plus minus 2 pi by 9. So this is the another solution, but I want my solution to lie in the interval 0 to pi. I want my solution to lie in the interval 0 to pi. So it is given that I want my solution to lie in the interval 0 to pi. So when you put n is equal to 0, you will get, I mean, obviously we, we are not going to put negative values if I will check whether we can put negative or not. So I am starting with positive values of n. So when you put n equal to 0, you'll get pi by 4. When you put n equal to 1, uh, when you put n equal to 0, you'll get 0. When you put n is equal to 1, you'll get pi by 4. So pi by 4 must be our answer. n equal to 2, pi by 2. When n equal to 3, 3 pi by 4. When you put n equal to 4, you'll get pi. But I can't take pi. So the value of n is not applicable to this. We can't put substitute n equal to 4 here. So the only solution uh, from this part is pi by 4, pi by 2, 
and 3 pi by 4 right in the same way you can start putting uh, when you put n equal to 0 we'll get uh, plus minus 2 pi by 9 but we'll, we will not take minus 2 pi by 9 because it, in the question it is given the solution must lie in the intervals open 0 to uh, open pi so from this i will put n equal to 0 then i will get 2 pi by 9 i will get uh, 2 pi by 9 uh, similarly when you put n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 so 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi by 9 so LCM will be 2 pi by, when you put n equal to 1, uh, take the plus sign. So 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi by 9, LCM will be 9. Then we have 4, that is 6 pi by, uh, this will become what? 4. 4 plus 2 pi, 4, uh, sorry, 6 plus 2 pi, this will be 6. 6 plus 2 pi, that is 8 pi by 9. 8 pi by 9. When you take the minus sign, uh, so 6 pi, minus of 6 pi uh, minus of 2 pi that will be 4 pi by 9 so 4 pi by 9 8 pi by 9 both uh, so all this solution are lying in the interval 0 to pi now what will happen if you put n is equal to 2 you may not get uh, uh, you, you, you may not, i mean you will get solution but that solution will not lie in the interval uh, open 0 to open pi so i'm not going to substitute the values greater than uh, uh, 1 so from the second part uh, the solutions we have are 2 pi by 9, 8 pi by 9, and 4 pi by 9. So answer for this question is 2 pi, pi by 4 there, pi by 2, 3 pi by 4, 2 pi by 9, 4 pi by 9, and 8 pi by 9. So the correct option is option A. So till question number 9, we have discussed. Now move to the next question, question number 10. The number of solutions of the pair of equation 2 sine square theta minus cos 2 theta is equal to 1. And 2 cos square theta minus sine theta is equal to 0 in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So let's begin. So first I will simplify this uh, first equation. So we have 2 sine square theta minus cos 2 theta is equal to 0. 2 sine square theta. Now I am using the identity cos of 2 theta, cos of 2 theta. We have three formulas, cos square theta minus sine square theta, 2 cos square theta minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So we, uh, I mean, if I use the third one, 1 minus 2 sine square theta, that will be more useful here. So 1 minus 2 sine square theta is equal to 0. Now simplify this, I will get uh, 4 sine square theta is equal to, when you add, this will be 4 sine square theta minus 1 will be, when you bring that minus 1 in the right, that will be plus 1 is equal to 1. So from here we have sine theta is equal to <coughs> plus minus half. In the same way, simplify the second one, 2 cos square theta, 2 cos square theta minus 3 sine theta is equal to 0. So at the place of cos square theta, write uh, 1 minus sine square theta. So 2 into 1 minus sine square theta minus of 3 sine theta is equal to 0. <coughs> now bring all, uh, simplify the square tick in sine. So uh, 2 sine square theta plus 3 sine theta minus 2 is equal to 0 I'll just check it whether yeah all fine so when you simplify this let's simplify this uh, and what we are getting uh, if i put <coughs> 6 minus 2 okay so when you simplify this the factors are going to be 2 sine theta plus 1 and uh, sorry 2 sine theta minus 1 So uh, the factors are going to be 2 sine theta minus 1 into sine of theta plus 2 is equal to 0, right? Uh, again, just cross it 2 sine square theta plus 4 sine theta, yeah. So these are the factors we have. So sine theta is equal to half. Now from here we have nothing. I mean, so the, uh, this is always going to be positive. So from here you will not get any solution because the range of sine is minus 1 to 1. So sine theta plus 2 is going to be uh, 1 to 3. So this is always going to be positive. So we will not get any solution from the second factor. Uh, so when you simplify this, the second equation, you will get sine theta is equal to half. So uh, to find out the common solution, from here also we have to take sine theta equal to half. And from here also we have to take sine theta is equal to half. And I have to answer in the interval 0 to so 2 pi. So uh, in, the, in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant, we have sine theta equal to half. Now we have to find out the number of solutions. So the only solutions, the number is 2. Okay. Because sine theta, I can't take sine theta equal to minus half here. Okay. 
So the common solution, I will get the common solution when I will take sine theta equal to half from here and sine theta equal to half from here. Now for what angles in the interval 0, so 2 pi sine theta equal to half, the angles are pi by 6 and uh, uh, pi minus pi by 6, that is 5 pi by 6. Uh, ne next question is question of 11. So we have p is equal to sin theta minus cos theta equal to root 2 cos theta. So let's simplify the p first. So sin theta, uh, sin theta is equal to bring that cos in the right. So we have root 2 uh, cos theta uh, plus cos theta, right? You can take cos common. So sin theta is equal to root 2 plus 1 into cos of theta. Bring that cos in the uh, denominator of the left hand side you will get tan theta is equal to root 2 plus 1 now we have solutions you can get uh, I mean, no need to find out the solution so we have infinite solution for this we have uh, infinite angles for which tan gives you root 2 plus 1 uh, similarly in the same way you can solve this so sine theta plus cos theta is equal to root 2 sine theta fine uh, uh, from here we have cos theta bring that sine theta in the right hand side so that will be root 2 minus 1 into sine theta so now cos theta upon sine uh, sine theta upon cos theta so that here tan theta is equal to 1 upon root 2 minus 1 so when you rationalize this uh, the rationalizing factor will be root 2 plus 1 so it it is also root 2 plus 1 okay so here also we are getting the same thing so uh, this question p is equal to q right uh, so we we reach to the last question of uh, quiz 10 now uh, the number of solutions of the equation log mod sin x with the base half is equal to 2 minus of log mod x with the base half in the interval 0 to so 2 pi so this is uh, how we will start with we will use the property of logarithm now I am bringing uh, that cos part in the right so in the left so we have log of half mod cos x is equal to 2. So use the identity of uh, log a plus log b that will be log of a b. So this will become this will become log of half into mod sin x into mod cos x is equal to 2. For the solving it we have mod sin x into mod cos x is equal to half a square this half will uh, go in the base of uh, go in the right hand side and half will take the place of the base and the power will be 2 so we have 1 by 4 so finally we have uh, mod sin x uh, into mod cos x is equal to 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 multiple so I mean I can't answer in this way we have to bring in one trigonometric ratio so to bring this in one trigonometric ratio what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply the left and right with 2. So when you multiply left and right with 2, you will get sine 2x mod sine 2x and the right hand side will be 1 by 2 because when you multiply with 2 in the left hand side in the right hand side, so this 2 will cancel out 4 and we left with 1 by 2 in the right hand side. So finally we have mod sine 2x is equal to half. So sine 2x is equal to plus minus half. Still uh, we, we have to check the angle here now x belongs to 0 so 2 pi so x belongs to uh, let me see closer yeah, oh, close only so 0 to 2 pi but here we have sine 2x so we have to multiply with 2x that will become 0 to 4 pi now actually when we have sine x equal to half and uh, <coughs> If you want to take, you can take this as a new angle. You can take this new angle as phi. Okay. So we have sine phi is equal to plus minus half. So uh, in, in when phi belongs to 0 to 4 pi, when phi belongs to 0 to 4 pi. So sine x is equal to from if you want to split further. So sine x is equal to half and sorry, sine phi is equal to half and sine phi is equal to minus half. So in the interval 0 to so 2 pi for sine phi is equal to half we have two solutions from 2 pi to 4 pi again we have two solutions from this part we have four solution uh, in the interval 0 to 2 pi we have two solutions from sine phi equal to minus half and from 2 pi to uh, 2 pi to 4 pi again we have two solutions so total number of solutions uh, for this question is 8 so option c is correct in this 
uh, for question number 12. So this is uh, all about the solutions and thank you all.